Welcome back to the Riverville Hospital. I am hospital manager Rever, and we have some dirty floors, but we have cleaners. <laughs> I think we're staying ahead of things pretty well. And I was just taking a look after the last episode, we were able to pay our but our loan down to 40000 Now, I might want to go up a little bit more because exciting times for Project Hospital. We have a new DLC, which gave us a warning saying that our surgical procedures would not be able to be done in internal medicine anymore, which, to be honest, is quite fine. Um, we never have those anyway. <laughs> so we, we're good timing, actually, because this is probably one of the departments that we would want to get going you know, pretty darn soon. Now, I would like to try to do things without getting into too much more debt, though I do feel like, you know, we're going to have to spend money to make money, and we, it, things should be pretty affordable for us if we come back and look. You know, we made 12000 last night, or yesterday, and then, uh, you know, it's $6,000. i am not sure what happened here exactly. We didn't seem to get as many people through, but that might have been when I had, like, exposure to weather or something like that the day before that so there was seven or nine thousand yeah i'm just looking at this number because this has got other things going on like building and you know so how much cash can we expect to come in so i'm thinking you know around 10 grand a day which is good so it would take us four days just to pay off the loan and i think that we're better off actually like like we if we're getting 10 grand in we could borrow like a hundred more grand and that would cost us a thousand. So as long as we can get a thousand more in for the hundred grand we spent, it's worth it. Does that make, I hope that makes sense. If not look up why businesses take out loans. <laughs> so what I would like to do, and I've actually been in here and I've recorded all of this once before is I would like to get ready to go up to a second floor. I think if we zoom out, you can see we're really kind of ready. Now, when you do the second floor, it will actually copy everything up there. So what I would like to do is just kind of square off this portion of the hospital where it is right now. So that way we have a nice big square second floor. Now we can build out, like we, we're not too limited, right? We can always build out more over here to do certain things or, you know, but like I think that we, we could get a little bit more bang for our buck. Like these foundations are expensive and, and it's not going to cost us too much more to like square up this area, right? So that's 2000, but then keep in mind, that's, you know, we're going to get that area up top. So I think it sort of makes some sense. And I'd like to just maybe square up this. I don't think we get double charged if there's already a foundation there. And I say that because if you look here, it's 7,200, but I pull it back one, right? Like in other words, the amount's not going up as much for this bit so I, I don't think it's counting the, the things that are already there so i don't i don't like it's not double charging this it does double charge it seems like for like tiles right so is this all right so let's square that up a little bit and then this is probably like the biggest chunk to square up ouch nine thousand but again that's nine thousand that will get upstairs right so then the other thing I'd like to do, well, we're going to have to borrow a little bit more money. Do we, well, I don't want to vow that that's our last loan because the next thing we're going to need, day 17 here is going to be quite a bit about, about the new DLC, I think. And that's going to mean organizing things. All right, I just want to fill in these walls so that we end up with walls upstairs and again half the price right because that it, they're not going to charge us for the wall upstairs and and that's that seems like it's you know good enough again we, we're not we can always add more to this floor we can always add more to the second floor or or take stuff away from the second floor so there we go so we really didn't change too much now i here's the problem that i had if we don't save this then it's going to cause like a lot of issues and errors and i think it's because the game uses the save file or something to create the second floor or I don't know, or they have to be in sync. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game and I've already done this a couple times. So there, I'm just going to save it as this is how I save each, you know, each time I end, right? Like these are the ep episode names. If you look down there for the most part. So we're going to save this as 17 because we're on day 17 now, right? 
and then so there we go so now i'm actually going to come back out of here and exit to the menu and i'm just going to reload just for the safety's sake i don't necessarily think you'd have to reload but it'll just take us an extra second now when i go to the second floor i won't have this error and it basically broke the like the clinic and it, it just caused a lot of problems at that point when i did that so and just graphics problems so let's see can we now go to add a new floor copy walls and tiles why not because we can always first of all we don't have that many tiles well i don't know do they mean like tile floors probably maybe i don't know or do they just mean like a tile is a square like like that is two tiles right underneath of that like i don't know anyway let's go build a new floor all right and i was getting like all kinds of errors if i didn't do that save thing but there we go so we have a whole new floor up here and i think we could start taking advantage of it and start talking about how are we going to organize our little hospital and i think one of the things we could well let's just go back downstairs for a second here page down yeah let's get out of this mode yep good everything's still working I'm, i was a little nervous about that so what what are we going to do i think we need to spend some time and money and some days just sort of reorganizing maybe not spending a ton of money but i think i would like to get the internal medicine moved upstairs right and i would also eventually like to get another elevator that's like a little bit further back in here and yeah, maybe where this room is what is this room i think it's in radiology right yeah this is our sonography unit sonography not sonography um yeah i'd really kind of it's either that or put the elevator right here yeah you know what? why don't we move this doctor's office and then we'll put the elevator right here right i think that's about the same as if we had put it over here and then this is just the office and then yeah, so what this is cardiology. Yeah, that's fine because we already have this area set up for that, right? Yeah, so let's start. I think we come in here. We could start moving things. Can we move a door? No, let's just put up a new door. A door with a window. Yeah, it should probably go out to this hallway. Um, you know what I'm thinking? This is only, I'm thinking a few things here. This, this room is messed up anyway. Yeah, let's put this right here, right? But this, let's, let's go over to walls, right? And I do want to start doing like this tile so we can see it when it's, see like this is here, right? It, it doesn't matter. The other tile one's fine too. So let's get rid of this wall. Right, and then we want to go yeah, back to this. One, two, three, four, five. Right, and then this room could be made a little bit bigger. Because why not? Because And that's the kind of room you'd want bigger, right? Like, certainly not going to hurt. And then that means that this... This needs to become... So what is this? Cardiology... Oh, okay, because we didn't have a sink for her. It's kind of fine, actually, because we want to just move you from there to here. And then this is going to be the nurse's station, right? On call. No, nurse's station. Let's make that a little bit bigger, right? Yep, there we go. Good. So this one's missing equipment. So now can we come back to here? All right, come back to here. Yeah, well, let me move that because she's sitting in it, right? Oh, by the way, I did read a helpful tip, tip while the game was loaded that you can, if you hit shift, it'll hit the get the lower thing, right? I don't know if you guys knew that, but I think I did, right? So, like, if we if we wanted, like this is going to grab the, yeah, it's the closest I can zoom in, but this would grab the hand dispenser on the wall, but if I hit shift, it grabs the thing below it. All right, so then let's go and uh, we'll put this over here. 
All right, and we can put our exam table. Let's put the exam table this way. I think that looks better, right? And we'll have the thing at the head of the table there. And then, yeah, I think, I think we just have to buy a new desk is the best thing to do, which isn't the end of the world. We're, we're getting enough money here that we can afford a new desk, right? Yeah, can we just click on this room? Yeah, see, it's telling us what we don't have. Oh, yeah, we got to get our eye test chart over. Well, let's just get the desk moved. Yeah, the 999 or the... Yeah, put that over here. And then... I think I can move... No, let's just... Let's get... just. I'm just going to get her a whole... A whole new setup, and we'll just move the... Move this, move her over. So what, why, why are you saying we don't? Oh, because this is blocked. Okay, there we go. Now you're not blocked anymore. Um, yeah, so we need to get her a chair, I guess. Where is the chair? What is this? Office chairs, basic. Uh, I don't like that the DLC pushed the office chair. Well, maybe just for this room, <laughs> right? Like, I, I want the $59 chair. I'm not sure what the other chair does for us. Do the chairs help? You know, so let's go back. All right, so let's get back out of here. Go to cardiology. Uh, so what, are you still missing equipment? What are we missing? Oh, the eye test chart. Yeah, let's... And then we'll, we might as well grab your poster. Posters, they like posters. And you know what? I'm in the mood to give you a Loc Object DLC Ground Plant Drachnia. <laughs> All right, I don't think we have anything else goes over there. So there we go. So now, yeah, so now we should be able to come out here to cardiology and so who is... Yeah, let's oops. Let's get back out of this mode and employee Elizabeth Jones. All right, we should be able to put yeah, go back into here. Elizabeth Jones. She has a plus above her name. I should have known that. All right, so there we go. So that that should take care of moving that, which means now we can get this stuff moved, right? So can we now move? Let's play a little time. All right, I want to move this stuff. Uh, you know what? Do we go? Let's go back over to cardiology and let's. Uh, get rid of. So this is Mark. Yeah, well, we don't want to go. <laughs> Look at him in his bedroom. Uh, yeah, so we need to move. Who was it? Mark Jones over. Yeah, so let's go back to cardiology. Oh, you know what? She was the nighttime person. Uh, was it Mark Thomas? Yeah. And then Elizabeth Jones. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's pretty sure that's right. Yeah, Mark Thomas attending. Yeah, I think I got that right. I hope. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So okay, so that should be moved. That should be moved. Now, can we get this darn thing to move now? Yes. Good. So we'll put it in our junk room here. All right, and then we can get rid of all of these walls. which I was really goofy room anyway. And then what I'm thinking is maybe we put the elevator so it's facing over here, right? Yeah, so that's lined up with that. Boom. All right, so now we have an elevator there. So anybody who's upper floor over here that needs to get down to these rooms can do it 
relatively quickly. I mean, I know that this this is kind of far away. And then let's talk about what we're going to put up there. Well, I say that the first thing we do would be getting our let's let's go with internal medicine just to get that office up over there because that'll be one of the first things that we would really want up there. All right, so yeah, so we need the waiting room and this. Now, can we just move? All right, if we were to take, yeah, see, it doesn't move the zones. So I think what we need to do, let's try this because I've been kind of a, all right. Okay, so Linda Berkeley and I forget the other one's name already. <laughs> all right, but now, Let's see, can we play a little bit of time? Okay, Brooke Gonzalez, okay. Linda Berkeley, so Gonzalez and Berkeley. All right, so she's getting up. All right, so let's come back over to here, here. And now we can say move, right? And none of that stuff is being used, right? So now we can go page up. And for now, we could put that just right up there. And then we can come into internal medicine. And we could say, there's your office. And we could say, there's your waiting room, right? And I don't know if that's the best place in the world that we ever put those. But then what do we have? Berkeley. Yeah, she's day shift. Brooke Gonzalez, Linda Berkeley, All right? Very good. Yeah, so nobody's waiting, and then we have this up here. So that's that's good. So we could start expanding that department, and we could expand it out into this whole area. Now, I don't really know exactly how much all of these are going to use, but so we would want each of these kind of rooms, a regular ward and all that stuff. So... That's going to take up a pretty good amount of room, anything that needs to have a ward. And then let's go back downstairs and start talking about things. So one of the things that I would definitely like to do, yeah, what is this? Not accessible. So this is just like a nothing. What I'm thinking of is we're kind of starting to get jammed up in here as far as our reception goes so i'm thinking about trying to get some things out of the area of reception because that's also where i think we would do like our administrative stuff right yeah like could we put this start putting these labs further up this way and maybe we make yeah we could even do like another addition when we have the money like over here that we could start getting the trauma center sort of scooted over now, the trauma center right there is pretty nice, but I'm thinking these other rooms like this pharmacy and the gift shop and all, maybe we put them like right over here where our internal, or where our, uh, what do you call it, labs are right now. We start moving the labs back over here, which isn't terribly far away from this, from this, uh, what do you call it, elevator that we just put in. Now the elevator, yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah, then eventually do we, yeah, we'll just have to see, see how it develops. <laughs> I've never, I haven't had to squeeze these things in before because they're brand new, right? So, so what I'm thinking we do now is maybe talk about like redoing these labs and, and putting them up into here. Like, do we want to extend this out further to make them wider or do we just move them up right let's take a look at what they are they're really not that much i mean yeah they need their own waiting room and we can make them tall, longer and skinnier to fit in here right i don't i know they have a weight like hermitology lab four by four yeah so let's see how much room do we have if we come up here and just uh i think we can even use Let's go to the walls and then you could use this delete tool to just measure, right? Because it will tell you, no, is it not? 
yeah let's let's do a, a wall tool because then it'll tell us yeah so this is like 30 from there to there right and if this room I mean, we definitely have extra room in these rooms but it's not the worst idea to expand them and get them out of here and yeah, maybe we come like right along this wall Yeah, if we put one room up in here, let's see, how big is this room? All right, seven by seven, so that's 49. And if we wanted five, it would have to be 10 long, right? So we would do, yeah, let's just do a blue, solid blue floor, right? So this would be, the equivalent size. All right, let's do some walls. And this is like a lab. Let's start making things look a little nice. Then we have like glass. And then we have glass doors. Place floors, walls. Oh, there it is. No, aluminum. No, we don't want aluminum. I thought there was glass walls. Hmm. Am I missing? Oh, maybe it's because of the... No, it should be, it should be fine. All right, I don't know. We're just going to put up walls with this blue because that's going to be our blue of that. Or is it the other blue? Well, this will be this blue. Oh, there we go. What is this? Oh, it's aluminum panel. I don't know. They're all the same price, right? Let's, let's see what the aluminum panel looks like. All right, and let's get rid of that. And then we're going to get some more aluminum panel. And then we're going to get door. Oh, there's the glass wall. How much does that cost? 30 Ooh. <laughs> Maybe we'll just give them a glass door for now. All right, so this is going to be our new microbiology lab. So let's come to here. All right, and we're going to do you from there to there. And then we're going to take, yeah, can we... Yeah, I want to be able to move these things. So these guys are sitting at their desk, but I think we have an extra one here, right? So let's set this up because it will be good to have two, right? And we already have... Oh, yeah, you know what? We already have this desk, but can I just get the... Can't just grab the. Oh, there we go. Hit control. All right, and then we're going to grab this chair. And we're going to grab that printer. Now, we should be able to come back to here and see who's Mark Wright, Jennifer King. All right, so let's come back to. Uh, Oh, we need to move all the equipment. Okay. All right, so we're going to leave one, two spaces for another desk. And we're just going to start shoving all this in here for now. And we can decide if it looks good. Oh, that's the wrong one. All right. Yeah, so let's put a, give them their poster. clock and their sink All right what's this saying not accessible 
And why is that not accessible? Oh, did I put up like a glass wall instead of a... Yeah. Um... There you go. <laughs> okay, well, at least we know. Yeah, glass tall would look cool, but... Yeah, well, we have the aluminum. I think the aluminum looks kind of nice, right? Especially with the bluish. All right, so now we should be able to come back over to here. All right, and... I forget. <laughs> yeah, let's see, who do we have? That was Jennifer King, I'm pretty sure. I keep doing that. And then the other one is... Ah, come on, stop that. Louise. Right, the guy, yeah, the, the Jennifer King and Mark, oh, there we go. Mark Wright, Jennifer King, okay. So, let's go, come on. Yeah, Jennifer King and Mark Wright. Perfect. Missing equipment, missing everything else. Oh, so Casey Scott. Okay. And Brooke Hall and Casey Scott. So what do we have? I'm a little confused why those people would be out of a job. Do we, we didn't have... Oh, so did I somehow miss... Get, oh, missing staff. Oh, was I looking at the wrong thing? Okay. So Casey Scott. And who was the other one? Brooke Hall. All right, let's go back to here. No, it didn't look like him. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at him. Look at he's doing a funny move thing. He's he's a funny mover. Alright, I'm not sure if we fix these problems. Employee has no workspace. Uh Casey Scott. Now I thought I gave him a workspace of here. Alright. Day shift, yeah, I don't know if it makes a difference. Night shift, Brook Hall. Now, I don't know what that other person was doing. All right, let's see. Yeah, this one. Yeah, what are you two and me? Okay, well, there we go. So now let's go ahead. Boy, this is taking forever in a day. I think I may move this in between the episodes, but expect me to... Yeah, the only problem I also don't like was we kind of kind of ended on the corridor there, didn't we? Like if we wanted to make this bigger. Yeah, well, you know what? I think that might be okay. Let's go ahead and just talk about the waiting room, right? Because if we did a waiting room. Yeah, really five by four would be kind of nice for a waiting room. Go with our aluminum blue walls. All right, and what I'm thinking of is, is we could re, if we ever wanted to poke out here, we could just move this and make it a bit of a different shape. All right, so in the, in the meantime, we can do like this and we can take, uh, let's make sure we move the right one. Okay, this this one. All right, so uh, is there somebody actually in there? <laughs> yeah, of course. We'll just move the stuff we have in this waiting room as it is. All right, and then we need to get rid of... Yeah, get rid of this room. All right, and hopefully she just goes over and sits in the other one. Uh, right.
Good. All right. So like I said, I think, you know, this episode's kind of t- long enough. Um, I will come back for day 18, I think. So we're just going to move. Like the big thing with this is we got the whole second floor. Hopefully that's working. <laughs> I don't see anybody else up in here. Let's see. Do we have... Yeah, well, we have, you know, a waiting room and the doctors, and we'll get on that. And some of this, in some ways, is going to slow down. But really, remember, we're making room as best we can for getting to our new stuff down here, right? So as I, I move this stuff tediously over, we're, we're making room to get, you know, the uh, bigger reception area plus our pharmacy and whatnot over here. So what are you... Okay, you're calling the person. Yeah, so we need to move over these two other labs. I'm hoping we have enough room, right? This one was it's the same size, I think. Yeah, let's do... Yeah, the tile thing. Yeah, this was 7 by 7 So let's just lay that out as far as... Yeah, we'll do the tile here. So 7 by 7 is 49 right? So 5 by 10 is... That's uh, so this room is one tile bigger than this one was. So we'll move that there. And then this room, how big was this one? This one was 35. Right. And how big would this be? Yeah. See, that would be 40 right there. And we would just have to move the cleaning room. And we've already moved this waiting area. So could we make this waiting area bigger? Yeah, cleaning room. Boy, we could kind of shove the cleaning room right up there if we had to. Really, every area having a cleaning room is a little bit silly. I've I've seen that comment more than once from people. Like, why do you have to? Like, it should be like a global function, and I tend to tend to agree. All right, so let me put the right kind of door in here. But there you go. Well, let me know what you think. Oh, glass door, right? Yeah, do that one like that. And then that'll be our new hist hist histology lab. Right? And then yeah, you know, the other thing is is I could make these a little bit smaller and deeper at some point. Like if I made this one just a little bit smaller. Yeah, so that these two are the same size. So what did I have here? Let me get some of this worked out so you guys aren't surprised if you come back to watch the next episode. All right, not that. This. All right, like if we were to come from here to here, it's 18. Yeah, so I think what I might do, let's just move that wall over one. All right, and then we'll get rid of this wall. And then this will be, yeah, let's go back to here. Microbiology lab, right? I don't know what, yeah. The microbiology is up there, hematology. And then we would have a new hematology here. Did I say that wrong at some point? I think I did. All right, and then we'll take our really cleaning closet. <laughs> The cleaning closet, which is not necessary, right? Like, we don't have to have a cleaning closet. I'll put the cleaning closet, like, up here for now, just to, just because it's out of the way somewhat. Maybe even too far out of the way, you could argue. All right, we'll do this door in blue. All right, so we'll, I'll take all of this, and I'll move it, and I'll move all this lab equipment into these two new rooms we'll put some more tiles down blue here right so that'll be our new new labs right in there and then like i said if we ever needed to move them further we could kind of shove them back we'll see and then this area see the reason i'm saying maybe shove them back is because then again we can always expand this department to the second floor is probably better there you go. Let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to call it quits for now. And I need to get this episode processed because it took me a while with that second floor issue and error. And I was sort of late getting it recorded anyway. So I don't want you guys to have to watch it in like 3 DPI. <laughs> so, 
All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and we will be getting more stuff done as we get more money. And I will come back just for the sake of money at, at the beginning of day 18. So I will see you then.